some other news. It was a great day to be on the water. Earlier today, I got to take part in a little friendly media competition at the Montlake Cut. Seattle's TV news stations kicked off the annual Windermere Cup rowing regatta with a race. Team King 5 came in second place. It was all for a good cause. It was so much fun to be out there. It was really hard. Rowing is really difficult. I'm so proud of our team. We came be. in second. Yeah. I think it's the best oh, showing King 5 has had ever. I mean, and how many practices did you have? How many practices? This was our third day on the water. Oh, wow. Your third day yeah. on the water. Impeccable. Impeccable. Yeah. It's just truly amazing. And yeah, well, thanks you, to the volunteers who yeah. are actual rowers. <laughs> right? Yeah. And like you said, great day to be out on the water, probably not quite up to standards yet to being in the water. We still need to get a few more degrees, uh, but it is going to be warmer than what it has been here recently for the big Sounders match later on here into the evening. That starts up at 7 p.m. around the low 60s as we head into the first part of that match we will eventually drop into the mid 50s as hopefully the Sounders are heading home and we're heading home with a win. Now we're expecting to keep skies relatively cloudy. You can see that we do have more of this filtered sunshine. So even though it's somewhat bright, it's not uh, completely sunny. 64 south wind coming in at eight miles per hour right now. Looking at uh, the temperature change from yesterday, quite an improvement up by 10 to 15 degrees around Puget Sound. A little farther north and out closer to the coast, not as much of a difference. We've had more cloud coverage and also we've been seeing maybe even a few sprinkles into some of those locations. Current temperatures mid 60s right now in Shelton. We're sitting up in the upper 60s in Olympia. Check out that number right there. Chehalis all the way up to 70 degrees at this hour. Cooler again farther north and to the west you go with more of those low to mid 50s. Now we are still seeing that one band of rain that's been really pesky and really hasn't been wanting to move all that much. Really stubborn, right? Light shower activity here closer to Nia Bay. It's been just north and west of Forks and Quileute, but that's going to start to sink back into the area as we go into the night. Same can be said here across parts of Whatcom County. Still again, a sprinkle or two up this way, but mainly a lot of the clouds have kept things a little more cool as we have made our way throughout the day. So this system will head on in and that's really going to increase the rain chances into the night, but that won't happen until after the Sounders match. Big thing, right? Here we go into the tonight. We're starting to see some of that rain arriving around 9 to 10 p.m. out over the Olympic Peninsula. Also seeing some showers as you go farther north, but I think they won't be quite as widespread. After midnight and into early tomorrow morning, that's when it will start to become a little more widespread and head eastward. Still here across parts of Puget Sound, I think we're going to wait a little while before that rain really becomes steadier and heavier because once we head into the latter part of the morning after your commute, that's when we start to see a lot of this fill on in. Rain shadowing happening here closer to Port Angeles, more so, more so for Squim and Discovery Bay, limiting some of the rain that we'll see there. But elsewhere, Everett going down closer to Seattle, Tacoma, Olympia, all seeing some of those heavier down pours as this moves on by and then early tomorrow night 8 to 9 p.m. It's heading northward behind will be a brief break in the action because the next wave comes in right behind that heading into more so late into Friday morning into Friday afternoon with more heavier downpours with this as this area of low pressure will spin on through uh, that's going to start to put down a little more snow too up across the mountains the Crystal Mountains still right now in ski season until the end of the month. Now rain amounts we're talking about maybe a half an inch to an inch around Puget Sound. Higher amounts possible in Tacoma as we can get up to around an inch and a half there and out closer to the coast between an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. Up across northern interior around more than an inch to maybe an inch and a quarter there. And yeah, I just wanted to show you this because we are going to see some snow for Crystal Mountain around possibly three to six inches as we go throughout the next two to three days. Mount Baker of course seeing upwards to 10 inches. Here's your forecast after today's 60s. It's going to be a while before we get back there down to 53 tomorrow, keeping more of the 50s all the way through the Mother's Day weekend. Mother's Day, not a complete washout, a few showers, but more sun breaks than what we're going to see over the next two. And then we'll get into next work week, seeing temperatures back in the 60s and drying out. Okay.